Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone had a good day yesterday. Public holiday, why not? Beast of a wad. Well done for those of you that completed it. Good job, <laughs> very good job. Okay, so today we're going back to the usual format, body weight, or sorry, equipment free, or those with kits. That being said, there is a video on sugar wad that I think everybody should have a look at. So whether you're doing the equipment free or the overhead squat for the strength piece, piece, I would strongly suggest you watch that video and not only watch it, but use the drills that that guy talks about in the video in your warm up. Okay, so for those of you that are joining me at 9.30 a.m., we're gonna do it in class, don't stress. Uh, but for those of you that are doing it at home, there's only three exercises you need to do. It will take you a bit of time, but just, um, Get those done for me, all right? So here we go, back again. Those with kit, you're gonna comp complete three sets of eight overhead squats. So your eight reps should be quite heavy. So you need to warm up well, and then you need to hit your eight, um, sorry, your three sets at the same weight. So you're not getting heavier each time or increasing in weight. I want you to build up, get to a heavy barbell, and then start your three sets of eight. Okay, so you will need to, if you don't have a rig, you will need to clean, jerk, bring it behind the head, go nice and wide with the hands and then start your overhead squats. Okay, you wanna be nice and wide. The most important thing with your overhead squats, A, you keep your arms fully locked out the entire time. So don't bend your elbows at all. So from this position here, you want the underside of your elbows to face the bar and your armpits to face forward. So I'm not internally rotating my shoulders. In fact, I'm pulling them the other way, okay? So the underside of your elbow faces the bar and your armpits face forward. That's for each of your eight reps, all right? Looks like this. So there's no movement through the shoulders there as I start to go down, provided I've moved, uh, warmed up well enough, I should say, I should be able to do that, all right? We then move on to today's workout. So you'll still need your barbell, two rounds for time, okay? Starting with 20 deadlifts. I've put here 42 and a half for gents and 30 for the ladies. But all I mean is that it should be a, a light barbell. Okay, so that's not heavy. Uh, so whatever weights you've got, go for it. If you need to adjust the reps, depending on the weight that you've got, of course that's fine. If you only have 60 kilos or something crazy, <laughs> maybe do a front squat instead of the overhead um, or just drop the reps, minimum of 10. Let's say. Okay, so two rounds of time, 20 deadlifts, five bar over burpees, 20 hang cleans, burpees, 20 overhead squats, burpees, and then back to your deadlifts. All right. We're all familiar with bar over burpees, so I won't demo those. Your deadlifts, keeping your back nice and straight. This should be very light for your deadlifts, so you should be able to move quite quickly. All right, it'll look like this. Beautiful. Your hang clean will start from the top of the knee being the hang and finish up at the shoulders. That will look like this. And then the last one, of course, is your overhead squats, just like you did in the strength piece. However, you're not to use the rig. If you have one, the bar must come from the floor. So clean, jerk, back rack, wide with the hands, jerk, then start your overhead squats. So that will look like this.
and then you can put it straight down. All right. Good luck, guys. Two rounds for time. Enjoy. See how you go. Be interested to see. So make sure you log your scores on SugarWad for me. Okay, we then move on to, excuse my heavy breathing, my equipment free people or those with the plate. So as I mentioned earlier, or you guys may have missed it if you've skipped forward, there is a video on SugarWad. Watch the video. <laughs> okay, I'll be watching those views to make sure it's been clicked on. <laughs> no, not really. Oh uh, yeah, but watch, watch the video, okay? It's just good tips anyway, drills. You might want to incorporate things if you're ever squatting at home or even in here. If you're here early, by all means, do those sorts of things. <clears throat> so if you're joining me in the live class at 9.30 a.m., we will be doing what's in the video. If not, if you're training at home, please do it. It's good for you, all right? So we'll go through those mobility drills uh, for the overhead squat. We then move on to today's workout. So I'll go through the version with a plate first and then the version without the plate. So I'm just gonna get one. Here we go. So two rounds for time. This time, 20 plate ground to overhead, five plate over burpees, 20 per side plate snatch, five plate over burpees, 20 plate squats, five plate over burpees, back to the top, ground to overhead and repeat, all right? So I'll show you the ground to overhead, the plate snatch and the plate squat. with your ground to overhead as always keeping your back nice and straight all right so it'll look like this that is the ground to overhead Okay, next is our plate snatch. So I've written here 20 per side. Um, so think of it like a kettlebell snatch. Now with a kettlebell snatch, you don't have to touch the floor. A dumbbell snatch, you do. You always alternate arms as well. Kettlebell snatch, like our plate snatch, you're gonna do 20 on one arm and then 20 on the next, okay? So you need to place your fingers through the eye of the plate like so. Deadlift first, as I have done. You're gonna swing in between the legs and then press up overhead, all right? So it'll look like this. Okay, we've not done this one before, so <laughs> make sure you feel secure with your plate. You can hold it however you like. This is how I'm holding it. Okay, you might be able to get four fingers in there, but it definitely helps overhead if you've got your pinky out as well. So you'll do 20 on one side and then 20 on the other. Okay, and then your last one is the plate squats. So like we did last week, you're gonna hold the plate out in front of you, looking through the eye of the plate, as you perform your squat, all right? The heavier the plate, the more your shoulders are gonna burn. <laughs> so keep that in mind, all right? That's for those of you with plates. For those of you equipment-free version, your workout is still two rounds for time, this time. Uh, you have 20 alternating jump lunges, five burpees, 20 push-ups, five burpees, 20 squat jumps, five burpees, okay? So jump lunges, I'm looking for the back knee touching the floor each time, and you're just gonna jump and change legs. That's your jump lunge, okay? Push-ups, chest touches the floor, thighs do not. You need to scale that to knee push-ups by all means, do so, okay? And then the last one is your jump squats. Squat jumps, same, same. 
So full squat, and then should just a little jump at the top. So I should just see daylight under your feet. All right, guys, don't forget your burpees in between each of those movements. Good luck, have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.